still alive, you should be. Because now I will tell you the real secrets behind this entire scene. <laughs> <laughs> thinking I should tie you to a chair because you can't run anymore. No, 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 no. I won't be tying you. But in this scary house, your legs are already frozen. <laughs> I am Ronak, your story partner. Welcome to the fourth part of Doll and Me. So, here we go. I was crying in fear, screaming at my highest pitch. Mama, Mama, what's wrong with you? Who are you, Mama? And she hugged me tightly. I can feel her groans getting back to her normal breathing. Her arms and palms became soft again. Her voice calmed down. Aman, are you all right? Why are you crying, baby? I looked at her face, unable to believe the transformation occurred few minutes back. Those words were echoing. I remained silent and just hugged her tightly. Baby, I think you need some sleep. And I came to tell you that me and your daddy are going outside tomorrow. Actually, an emergency meeting has come and so we are going out station. We'll be back by tomorrow night, don't worry. I have talked with our maid and she will stay here to take care of you. But don't trouble her, okay? I just nodded. Due to the trauma state, without seeing anything, she kissed on my head and left. When she reached the door, her leg got stuck with something and somehow she balanced herself. She checked, but there was nothing for her. But for me, there was something solid, wrapped in the darkness. She checked again and then left. The thing was lying still without moving and my eyes were fixed on it without blinking. This night was feeling way more heavy than the invisible weight on my chest. Choking me. Don't know when did the night passed. Don't know when did the sentries enter. Don't know where did the things went wrong. Don't know why. Why with me? My parents had left few minutes back. I heard them calling my name and bidding bye. I heard their car getting start and leave. I can't move from my bed because the thing isn't moving. It's as still as a small dead body. 
even the room is lit with sunshine but my door is dark the thing is still dark my throat feels dry since last night my eyes are burning like a flame my mind is exhausted completely i want to die i just i just want to die no 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 i just want to have a nap i want to rest uh, i want to uh, when i opened my eyes it was 5 pm in the clock i quickly turned towards my door it was still there the solid thing laying untouched unmoved unseen i got up from my bed went near it it was a dark spot on the ground a really very deep dark spot but there was a footprint in it footprint of a baby i was going down the stairs to eat something but suddenly heard some strange whisper i rushed back to check but again something unusual happened the dark spot was whispering it started glowing and something started scribbling on it tonight you will realize what it feels to put foot on neck and a strange flash appeared there was me inside it rahul was hiding holding my hand he was pulling me there was a doll on the ground i didn't noticed and i put my feet on its neck and ran blood started flowing from its mouth tip 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 <laughs> things are getting creepy aren't they i can feel your goosebumps rising your every strand of hair is falling because you are captured here with me of course if you dare to turn down my volume if you dare to leave in mid if you dare to try to escape from here <laughs> my dear you will be the next prey for not doll and me but doll and you ah!